Greetings everybody, this is Dave Matuzic from MacDeck Engineering and I've got another tech tip for you. Moving along in our Mastercam 2017 theme here of what's new, I want to show you a cool little feature here in the plans menu and I'll show you another cool feature here that I don't even need the plan menu for. One thing I have here, I brought in this part here and I actually deleted all the toolpaths out of it, put it in design mode, but I have a whole bunch of extra planes here now. I want to just show you something neat here in 2017. Sometimes you'll bring a part in, say, from SolidWorks or another CAD package, and you have a whole bunch of planes you're never going to use. So I'm actually going to right-click in here, and I'm going to go to Delete and All Unused. And all my unused planes are now deleted, so I don't need them. So if you ever made a whole bunch of planes, Figured out you don't need them anymore, you're not using them, you can just right click and delete them all in one shot. And I think that's a cool little feature here. I want to show you another cool little feature about making a plane in Mastercam 2017. And to show you how easy it is to do, I'm actually going to close my plane menu off here. So it's gone. And I want to make a plane on the top center of this piece here. And I'm going to orient the maybe the X direction a, a little bit different also. Now in the past I'd have to go to planes, maybe dynamic or make planes off some wireframe and it has to go through a couple steps. Got a little bit easier for a lot of cases here in Mastercam 2017. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down to my Nomen, that's what this thing here is called, and I'm just going to drag it. I click and drag. And I'll just grab the center here and click I'll grab this angle here, and I'll take that out, and now if I just start typing and hit enter, oriented that out that way, that's good. Hit enter again to confirm it, and I'm going to just drag this Z up in the air up till I get to this height right there and click. I'll give it a name. I can set that as my WCS, my tool plane, and my C plane all while I'm in here. And I'm just going to hit OK. And if I throw my view on isometric, you can see how it reoriented, reoriented the part. My new plane's up on top, and I didn't need to go to the plane menu to do that. Now it's there in my planes toolbar here. I have my new part origin. So I can come in and do things in here if I want to say give it a work offset for example, or add a comment, I can do that from the plane menu here, but I don't need to have my plane menu open to make planes. So I can make planes on the fly. If I'm doing a part 3 plus 2 and have to make some planes as I'm toolpathing, no need to open up that plane menu anymore. I can just take and drag that gnomon right out onto the screen and make the plane I need. All right, that's a quick 2017 tech tip for you. Hope you all have a great day and stay tuned for more tech tips. Thanks and have a good day.